What's up guys, we're finally here with the stall tutorial, so we're gonna need three buttons guys. We're gonna need arrow right or left, whatever you prefer, jump, and then just push left or right on the analog stick depending on what arrow binding you're using. So you're gonna go from jumping to pressing your arrow button, and then directly back to your jump button at the same time pressing left or right depending on what binding you're using. So if you're using your arrow left binding, then you're gonna wanna push right. If you're using your arrow right binding, you're gonna wanna push left. So you're gonna jump, press your arrow binding, go directly back to the jump button and push left all at the exact same time pretty much. If you do that, if you push left and then just let go of all your buttons, you'll do the standard stall where you just stay in the same spot. If you hold your analog stick to one side while doing this, you'll do a full rotation like you see here. Then you can start doing the more fancy stuff where you go upside down, then do the full rotation and all that. So pretty much the main part of it is trying to get that timing down when you jump Go from your arrow binding to your jump button like instantly and then push left all at the exact same time. You want to get that timing down and then just experiment with it from there. It's pretty tough to explain. It's more you have to just try it for yourself. But those are the buttons. You want to give yourself that key binding and you want to make sure that, that key binding is very easy to use and very easy to alternate from that button to your jump button. That will make it a lot easier and once you can get that timing down you can do this in so many different ways. And this is a really cool trick. You can kind of fake the ball out. It wouldn't really be useful for anything, but it just looks really cool. You're falling down full momentum and you can just completely stop your momentum with this. That's why it's a cool thing to have. Uh, when I score a goal, I normally use this. You know, when you get launched up at the ceiling, I'll jump off the ceiling and then use it. It just looks really cool. So that's about it, guys. Really practice on trying to get that timing down. If you set up some really easy to use key bindings, you should be able to get this down within an hour, maybe even less. So this is a cool little dribble I tried to do. It didn't look too great, but I mean, I added it in the video anyway. And also one last thing, the higher your dead zone, the easier this will be to do. The lower your dead zone, the more difficult it will be to time. So definitely take that into account. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.